Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I was bored today, so I decided to become a pirate. How does piracy look on me? Oh, I mean, arg, hey, arg, what's up, arg, guys, arg, Mikey, arg, here, arg. I, arg, was bored, arg, today, arg, so I, arg, decided to, arg, become, arg, a pirate, arg. How, arg, does, arg, piracy, arg, look, arg, on me, arg. Arg is the episode where Mr. Krabs takes Spongebob and Patrick on a treasure hunt after he becomes obsessed with playing the Flying Dutchman's Treasure Hunt board game. This episode aired on March 15, 2000 and is the first time, in my opinion, where Mr. Krabs is the main antagonist of the episode. He has done a few antagonistic actions in some episodes up to this point, but this is the first episode where he takes on the role of the main villain. This also becomes a recurring theme throughout the series. Even though Plankton is the main antagonist of the whole series, Steven Hillenburg himself actually always planned on having Mr. Krabs be the secondary antagonist. While I do agree that Mr. Krabs being the main villain of the episode has definitely been taken way too far at times, I do think it can be pretty enjoyable when it's done right. Now before you say anything, yes, Mr. Krabs' villainous side is also shown in episode 17, Squeaky Boots, when he tricks Spongebob into buying those boots, but I don't think his actions were too bad in that episode. The squeaking noises do start to haunt him in his sleep, and then he feels guilty after he takes the boots away from Spongebob and hides them. He doesn't really show any remorse or own up to anything he does in this episode. Most of the times when Mr. Krabs is the main villain, his extreme greed is what truly pushes him to do those actions. But that's not really what happens in Squeaky Boots. He does trick Spongebob, but his actions quickly catch up to him and he owns up to what he did. In this episode, Mr. Krabs does things like playing a much bigger trick on Spongebob and Patrick, has them sleep outside, and makes them do all the work, but tries to keep the treasure for himself. All of that is much worse than what he's done in Squeaky Boots. And that's why I view this episode as Mr. Krabs' first role as the main antagonist. So let's watch this episode and relive that main villain role. So the episode starts up, and Mr. Krabs is upset because there are no customers at the Krusty Krab. Spongebob mentions 8 gold doubloons, and Mr. Krabs tries to grab them, but Spongebob and Patrick explain that they're playing a board game called the Flying Dutchman's Treasure Hunt, which is based on a real treasure map. Spongebob and Patrick convince Mr. Krabs to join in the board game. Mr. Krabs agrees, and they continue playing. Patrick takes a turn, and then Spongebob does, and then Mr. Krabs, who wins and starts to go crazy. Mr. Krabs, we went over this. It's a board game. Fred arrives at the Krusty Krab, and Mr. Krabs throws him out because he's become addicted to the game. They continue playing for the rest of the day, and Mr. Krabs wins 17 times. Spongebob and Patrick become tired, and they decide to leave. When Spongebob gets home, Mr. Krabs was already there, and he keeps trying to get Spongebob to play with him, and doesn't stop until Spongebob finally snaps and reminds him that it's just a board game. Mr. Krabs realizes he got carried away, and goes home. The next morning, Spongebob hears Mr. Krabs yelling from outside, and then sees that Mr. Krabs has a whole ass ship and says they were actually going on a real treasure hunt with a real treasure map. Spongebob and Patrick were excited, and Mr. Krabs tells them to put on some pirate garb. Spongebob became Peggy the Pirate, and Patrick became Blindbeard the Pirate. Hmm, well, I have these hats, so I'm Hattie the Pirate. Oh, not again. Well... As the ship is sailing, Mr. Krabs says that only the captain can lay eyes on the map and tells Spongebob to say ARG like a pirate. Spongebob spots giant coral rocks and he and Patrick try to tell Mr. Krabs while saying ARG. Then the boat crashes and Mr. Krabs says only the captain will say ARG from now on and Spongebob says this. The whole ship is underwater, Captain. It wasn't underwater already? They have to continue their treasure hunt on foot. When they get to a seaweed, they have to go 10,000 paces east, and Patrick misreads his compass and says them in the wrong direction. 10,000 paces later, Patrick thought Mr. Krabs said weese, and when Mr. Krabs saw the compass and realized that they went west, he fired Patrick. If he's fired, why is he still a part of the crew? 9,552 paces later, Spongebob and Patrick were so tired, and Mr. Krabs was upset because they just wanted to go home, and he thought that his crew wasn't loyal to him anymore, and started to cry, so Spongebob and Patrick agreed to stay. Later that night, Spongebob and Patrick were sleeping outside while Mr. Krabs was sleeping in a tent. They go inside to check on Mr. Krabs, and he wasn't there, but the map was. 
SpongeBob and Patrick start to touch the map because there wasn't a rule against that. He's not wrong. I've been in several libraries where you can't talk, but I've never seen a rule that says you can't sing in those libraries. The map unraveled and SpongeBob and Patrick Snuck looks at it, but they discovered that the map was just their board game taped to a piece of paper. And then, Mr. Krabs caught them and got pissed off with them looking at it and threatened to throw them overboard. How can he throw them overboard? They left the boat behind and they're nowhere near another body of water. But right before, they found the X and saw the game really was based on a real treasure map. Mr. Krabs told Spongebob and Patrick to dig and they found the treasure in no time. When they opened it, Spongebob and Patrick were talking about their shares, but Mr. Krabs refused to share the treasure with them and this led into an argument about who gets any of the treasure at all. High above them, the Flying Dutchman was sleeping and their arguments woke him up. When he saw that his treasure was dug up, Mr. Krabs blamed Spongebob and Patrick for doing it. The Dutchman praised Spongebob and Patrick for saving him all the digging and gave them each a gold doubloon. Mr. Krabs wanted a reward since he was the captain and he gave them the orders, so the Dutchman gave him a plastic treasure chest, which was based on a real treasure chest. The Dutchman laughed and left, Patrick said Mr. Krabs was looking all sweaty again, and the episode ends. So that was ARG, and I love this episode so much. There are a lot of funny moments here. My favorite part was when Spongebob had two peg legs and Patrick had two eye patches and they fell on each other. I also liked when the ship was sailing and Spongebob and Patrick kept saying ARG while trying to tell Mr. Krabs about the rocks. Spongebob and Patrick sneaking peeks at the map and Mr. Krabs showing up out of nowhere was quite an effective part of the episode. The foreshadowing done earlier when Mr. Krabs saying only he can lay eyes on the map was pretty good use of foreshadowing in my opinion and of course Patrick's I thought you said weast line is iconic too. Speaking of which, when Mr. Krabs says Patrick sent them west instead of east, I thought they were sent north instead. Here's my explanation. Patrick said weast. Of course, that's probably him thinking that's how you pronounce west, but weast could have also been a combination of east and west. Weast is literally east with a W in front of it. He looks at the compass and then points forward. There's north on the compass, and he just points forward. And east-west isn't a direction on a compass, but it kinda sort of meets in the middle of east and west. And going south would send them back the way they came, i.e. before the seaweed. So that's why I thought Patrick sent them north and not west. Or maybe that whole explanation was a stretch, I don't fucking know. Either way, that doesn't take anything away from the episode at all. Going back to what I love about it, I always loved when Spongebob and Patrick would call Mr. Krabs sweaty. I really like when there was that female singer singing things like Two gold doubloons! It's also awesome when Fred gets thrown out of the Krusty Krab at the beginning of the episode and when Spongebob screams at Mr. Krabs about going to bed. I've stated before how much I like the Flying Dutchman and I do think his role is good here too. He doesn't appear until the end, but it does make sense with this context. I also thought it was so humorous when the Flying Dutchman said, I'm the Flying Dutchman, in his sleep. Yes, I also say my name in my sleep too. I'm Mikey. I'm Mikey. For this being Mr. Krabs' first role as the main antagonist, I think it was done pretty well. As you have seen, a lot of his actions here are much worse than what he did in Squeaky Boots, so that's why I consider this episode his first major role as an antagonist. His actions here aren't as bad as later episodes in my opinion, but this feels like the first time where we really see his villainous side, and he does get his comeuppance in the end. I do think that this whole episode being about a treasure hunt is awesome. It's really well done here and feels really appropriate for this show. Oh yeah, and it's also funny when Mr. Krabs kept firing Patrick in this episode. I remember a time when my dad watched this episode with me, and he laughed loudly when Mr. Krabs hired and then fired Patrick at the Krusty Krab. This episode is just all around really good. It's just really enjoyable to watch. There's a lot of funny parts here, and the story works really well. I feel that this episode is very rewatchable, and when I was a kid, this was always one of my favorite episodes from season 1. Looking critically, I don't know if I'd consider it my absolute favorite episode from this season, but it's definitely one of the best from this season in my opinion. ARG is an awesome episode. Mr. Krabs' villainous side is used well here, and there are so many funny moments throughout. The way the story flows and how the characters act make this one of the best episodes of season one. 
And all of that and more just makes this one of the most rewatchable episodes of the whole show. Oh, I mean, ARG ARG isn't ARG, awesome ARG, episode ARG. Mr. Krabs is ARG, villainous ARG, side ARG, is used ARG, well ARG, here ARG, and ARG, there are ARG, so ARG, many ARG, funny ARG, moments ARG, throughout ARG. <sighs> Man, being a pirate is harder than I thought it would be.